Welcome to my video tutorial on inserting Google Gadgets on a web page. This is an introduction for novice web content managers. Google Gadgets are dynamic web content that can be placed on any page on the web. Gadgets can be games, mini applications, news feeds, maps, or any content. Gadgets can be informative, such as a news feed, or the current temperature. They can also be helpful, such as a Wikipedia search box or a translator. And they can be fun, like the quote of the day or a Facebook feed. Let's look at some examples of how websites are using gadgets. Here we're looking at the World Wildlife Foundation that's using a counter gadget to count down to the number of days and hours until Earth Day. Here is an example of using date and time gadget. And lastly, a Facebook gadget. Gadgets are free, easy to use, and can be embedded on any web page in three simple steps. One, find your gadget. Two, obtain the embed code. And three, insert the gadget on your web page. Step one, find your gadget. The first thing you want to do is go to Google or any search engine and type in the search term Google Gadgets or you can go directly to google.ca slash ig slash directory. Here we are looking at the iGoogle Gadget homepage. This is displaying a listing of gadgets by hottest or most popular. You can also search by category, search by keyword, and when you're viewing the listing, you can see who created a gadget, how many people are currently using it, what the rating is, and how many people contributed to that rating. You can click on the link of any gadget to see a preview. This is your gadget preview page. It allows you to see what your gadget will look like once embedded on your page. You can also read through comments of people who are currently using this gadget and what they think about it. And lastly, I want to point out the Embed This Gadget link. Step 2. Obtain the Embed Code. Returning to the Preview page, you need to click on the Embed This Gadget link located here. This will take us to the page where you can customize your gadget. You can configure your display settings, preview your changes, and when you're happy with how it looks, you can click on Get the Code, which will provide you with your script tags. These script tags you'll want to copy and save to your clipboard. You can do this using keyboard shortcuts. Control A will select all your text, and Control C will save your selection to the clipboard. Step 3. Insert Gadget on your web page. First, locate the web page you want to insert your gadget on. Then, decide where you want to insert the gadget in your layout. And lastly, enter the edit mode for that web page. Some content management systems, or CMSs, use a WYSIWYG editor interface that may have a tool to help you embed your gadget, such as an insert embed media tool. Or, you can paste the embedded code directly into the HTML. In this example, we want to replace this Facebook image and hyperlink with a Facebook gadget. Here we're looking at the HTML code for this page. I've located the Facebook image and hyperlink reference and I've updated it with my script tags. Now we can see how the Facebook image and hyperlink has turned into a Facebook gadget. Use these same steps to embed other information on your site, such as YouTube videos, podcasts, and more. Basically, anything that provides you with an embed code. Google Gadgets are a great way to incorporate helpful tools and resources, add visual interest, and integrate dynamic content. For more information on Google Gadgets, visit their website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and practical. I'd love to hear from you, so please be sure to rate this tutorial and submit your comments.